Okay. Hello, welcome in Cabo. Uh, Baba Shango Shango Sake. I can tune days Shango Sake Ajala. Welcome. How are you this evening? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> That's good. I have like so many questions. I've been dying to interview you. Um, so I hope you're open to the questions that I have for you this evening. And it's going to be quick, but very thorough questions. So I would like some thorough answers. The first question, well, let me set it up for everyone. Um, Baba Shango Sakin is a Elagun of his family. Elagun is the uh, person that carries Shango, that possesses Shango for the Ajala family. And he comes from a line of Elagoons. So I want him to tell us more about the role of an Elagoon. He is the head, one of the head um, uh, Shango Elagoons in Oshogbo. And he is here in America and he has just performed Shango Elagoon uh, Magic, which is Shango Pidan at my Oya festival. So some people got to see it, but I, you know, some people didn't understand it and, you know, they had a lot of questions. So maybe he can answer some questions beginning with what is the role of Elegum, Baba? Yeah, thank you. It's a good question. And then how Shangosaki Ajela, uh, the, the role of Elegum is the the part of Shango devotees it normally occurred during the festival mm -hmm. when they want to do the festival all the Shango priests priestess they will come and then give the offerings to Shango eat then after that the role of Elegu will now comes out Mm -hmm. To show us how Shango powerful, how the power that Shango had, and then to show it to people that Shango is still alive. Wow, I say. So why is it so important? Why is the role so important? It, it, it's one of the chief tansi in Shango lineage. Oh. Elego is very very strong. It's very very strong uh, in post. Mm. in Shango lineage. Mm -hmm. That is why Elegun is very, very important in all Shango devotees. Mm. This Elegun will now, when they are drumming the bata, the, 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 the Shango will now come down to who will perform for him. Wow. When Shango now and come amongst the person, then it started to be some kind of another thing. The person is not in alive, it's not in heaven. It will be two. Oh, wow. Yeah. Half on earth, half on heaven. Exactly. Okay. It, will be, it will be seen heaven, it will be seen earth. Wow. Then after that, they will take the person inside and then change to single costume, which called Asowu. Ati Yeri. The top is called Aso Uwu. The, 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 the down is called Yeri. Or it looks like a Wabi. skirt. Yes. Yeah, it's called a wrapper. wrapper yeah. mm -hmm. It's called Yeri or Wabi. Or Wabi. Okay. Yeah, that is what we call it. Then you come out again to show the power of Shango. Different kind of magic do any kind of things that is very strong put the knife in the eyes blood will come out and then do some stuff it will cover immediately i've again. seen the tongue uh tongue fire the tongue. in the mouth tongue, the the knife in the tongue i've All seen so many kind of magic right it, it, it will do to the body during that time shango already in the body the person will not know what he's doing again. Mm -hmm. Him and Shango will be 
in the same category by that time when the clothes is on that person they will be the same thing that nobody can call the name of the person again they'll be calling shango shango uh, because shango is already in that person okay they will be doing things together do all kind of magic all kind of stuff put mm -hmm. fire in the body in the mouth do a kind of stuff like that that's mm -hmm. how later on after the person finished <coughs> after the shango said okay I, i'm satisfied <coughs> with what you did then shango will now come out wow of the person again then the person now come back alive come to normal wow is it is it difficult to train is it elegant does it take years is it uh when you understudy with an um your, your elder elegant and um and oh yo whoever that may be um is it difficult and does it take a long time to oh, train it's very very difficult mm -hmm. and uh, it takes time to become an elegant mm -hmm. it takes time it's not Maybe it's not that I'm, I'm older enough to become a Lego. No, mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. true processing of knowledge and training. You cannot just say, hey, I initiation go today, I can become a Lego. No, mm -hmm. you have to undergo training mm -hmm. to become an Lego. That makes sense. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's dangerous, and you have to mount Shango, and Shango is very strong, exactly, very strong. Okay, okay. I have some clarity on Elagoon. Um, being Elagoon and being have uh, performed, and you, your your great grandfather, your grandfather was Elagoon, and your father um, was Elagoon. Very yeah. famous, very very I famous uh, Elagoon. Um, Shango priest in Yoruba land have traveled all over Yoruba land. What what? Um, as a Elagoon descent from a famous family in Oshogbo in Yoruba land. What would do you expect to do with this <clears throat> special ashe? Because everybody doesn't carry this, you know. It's it's kind of like hand picked. You're kind of hand picked to become elegant. So what what is your what is going to be your purpose? You know, especially here now in America to carry this elegant here um, in America and what, what what are you gonna do next? Yeah, uh, it came, I came here to to, to to elaborate the 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 importance of Shango devotees and the training that people need to undergo mm -hmm. and to to, to 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 learn to learn people how they will be and then how go be because all kind of story that we have been hearing different there and there about the Shango is not how it is mm -hmm. that is the purpose why I came to elaborate to differentiate mm -hmm. how between the the the, uh, the way people are saying it yeah in a diaspora is definitely different um and not in Yoruba land it's, it's it's some it's definitely a lot of differences exactly. when it comes to shango and each orisha is definitely a lot of differences in ritual and ceremonies and things like that exactly. mm -hmm. yeah. well i want to thank you for giving me that information and sharing this information i'm definitely going to share this on youtube if you all can go to Shade Ajala, S-A-D-E-A-J-A-L-A -A -A on YouTube and see other uh, interviews with the Ajala um, brothers, the Ajala family, Abby Ajala, one more, um, Ifa and Orisha information. I thank you so much, Baba. All right. Odawa. Odawa.